What is going on guys? This is Angel of the Showbiz Chuck channel and today we're going to be talking about some characters that may have been disappeared in recent years. If you have seen most of this guy's videos, well you might as well just go ahead and subscribe to his channel because his videos were very educational and sometimes very entertaining. Anyways, let's get with it. First up, it's Larry the Technician from the Chuck E. Cheese Show. Kids, Larry is a backstage technician. Oh, hello everybody. Uh, nice to see you all again. Larry has been around since 1993 and has been a recurring character on the show ever since. He looks a little bit more cartoony in his first appearance in terms of design with smaller glasses, a huge nose, a yellow shirt, and a smaller sausage-like body. His design changed later on when he came back in 1998 with larger glasses, a smaller nose, a white shirt, and his body is more larger and a little bit more simple. His voice was provided by the voice actor for Funimation Company, as well as the being the voice of Chuck E. Cheese is actually Duncan Brannon. How long before we can start our next show? Uh, uh, I just gotta get these lights hooked up right, Chuck, and we should be able to start real soon. Throughout the years, his voice mostly changed on certain occasions. With Jeremy Blado for Chuck E. Cheese's Fabulous World Adventure, as well as the holiday show in 2002. Tell me anything. There was even a moment where in January of 2006, he was actually voiced by Robert Gotcher of all people. Uh, yeah, Chuck, uh, I'm on it. Hey, uh, why don't you just hang out there and look a little bit busy? I'll keep you posted. I guess he didn't get the memo. Interesting fact about Larry is that he was the first character that Duncan Brennan has ever provided the voice for. Um, it's going to be a little longer than I expected to get the show back up and running. He would eventually go on to voice characters like Chuck E. Cheese and Mr. Munch, as well as occasionally Jasper T. Jowls and Pasquale whenever Bob West was unavailable. He would also voice Barney the Dinosaur in My Party with Barney, with Bob West doing the singing voice. I'm happy that you're one of my very best friends in the whole wide world. Unfortunately, in 2012, his animated form was discontinued due to the redesign of Chuck E. Cheese to be a rock star. He eventually had brought back in the form of live action in September of that same year, being featured in the music video Larry Go to the Store, which was a parody of Every Rose Has Its Thorn by Poison. He went to make official appearances since then until the holiday show in 2014. It's really sad to see a Chuck E. Cheese character being retired, but hopefully we'll get to see him in puppet form when he comes back. Maybe that's two into one. Next up on the list is Uncle Clunk from the Rock of Fire Explosion. Hello, you're on the air with Uncle Clunk. He was designed specifically as a traveling character just like Rolf the Wolf. What it actually means is that the text from Showbiz would replace an existing character with something new. And Rolf the Wolf wasn't really a part of the band necessarily, but you get the idea. Uncle Clunk was an animatronic that had just about 32 movements, just like the Garner Holtz Chuck bot from the Studio C stages. When he first appeared in Showbiz Pizza in 1983, he was voiced by Jeff Howell. He then had an unknown voice actor in another show, and listening to him using his Bozo Goofy voice really fits the character perfectly. We'll be talking with the world's foremost authority on the stuff you're eating right now. <laughs> and I'm not referring to the napkin you're chomping on there, young fella. <laughs> Stop that, you don't know where it's been. <laughs> Thank you, I'm beautiful. Actually, I'll be interviewing the world's greatest expert on pizza, live, right here on the clock line. He was later changed during the holiday season as Santa Claus for the Christmas show. Today, fans know the Santa reskin of Uncle Clunk as Uncle Santa or Santa Clunk. And with my pack on my back, I climb up into the sleigh, grab the first moonbeam, and we're up! I'm not sure when he'll be coming back for the Rock of Our Explosion in recent years, but at least Andrea did get Uncle Clunk at her house, and but in the future, she might as well just repair him. This is your good old Uncle Clunk saying, remember kids, always be nice to your parents because they're bigger than you are, and when justifiably provoked, may hit you real hard where you sit down. Next up is Holly Harper from an extremely goofy movie. 
1995, a Goofy movie was a positive success, being number two on its opening weekend. Five years later, an extremely Goofy movie was released direct-to-video and fans considered it better than its predecessor. This movie was served as a series finale of Goof Troop, which aired in 1992 until 1993 on ABC's Disney Afternoon Block. What you may have noticed in the Extremely Goofy movie is that the college that Max would go to is full of humanoid dogs and cats. The dogs are very easy to spot. Holly is pretty much one of those characters and she has been often seen in the background multiple times. She was first seen with Rachel Bloom watching Max, PJ, and Bobby skateboarding through the hood. Look at that guy go. I can't look at anything else. Interestingly, her voice was done by Jenna Von Oy, who also did the voice of Stacy in the first film. So my theme's gonna be, Powerline goes rainforest. Too much? After she said her first words, she can also be seen drinking soda with a different person. There was also a moment where Goofy and Sylvia are dancing to shake your groove thing at the dance floor. While Sylvia is dancing to the strobe light, Holly can be seen bopping along with Miranda Morales. This was the only movie she has ever appeared in, along with Kimberly Roberts, Anna Lisa, Diana Miller, and Bridget Hendricks. Hopefully, Disney will might be able to bring them back for Mickey and the Roadster Racers, or possibly walk around characters for Disney theme parks. These are some of the rarest characters ever in Disney history, and hopefully they might be able to get at least some limelight. I'm too old for that now. Come on, Zool. You're never too old to learn a new trick. Anyways, I would like to go on and on about this, but I'm afraid I'm just going to have to try to call it quits here. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Showbiz Chuck. And I want to thank every, each and every one of you for 1,000 subscribers. I cannot believe I hit this far. And, and it's been a privilege to, um, to like, make all these great videos for you guys. And I can't wait for new stuff in the future um, w when I be able to get more popular. So, th thank you, take care, and we'll see you guys next time. See you later.